Yo, what is up my people? In today's video, I'm just gonna bring you a little bit of Rogue Company. What I've liked so far and uh, what I think personally, man. So you can get this game right now from uh, purchasing it in beta or you can uh, earn a code from watching uh, multiple streams. Gotta make sure it says enabled like Twitch drops on the stream, not in the title, okay? But uh, yeah, man, I'm liking this game so far as far as like the smoothness of the gunfights you know the exchanges the mobility i'm liking it a lot personally right now like it does feel different the first time you play it it felt like mad different running around but yo once you get a hang of it you're, you're just gonna have a lot of fun in my opinion i like i like hitting my shots you know more than using equipment but there's a lot of different characters for like all type of play styles you know there's more tanky characters there's a healing character there's like it seems to be straight DPS characters, you know, like everything you could want in a game right now. I feel is this game has it kind of, and uh, I'm just excited for the future of this game, man. Hopefully, it starts picking up a lot and uh, people start playing it. Right? It's gonna be a free-to-play game. Uh, I purchased the Founders Edition just because I like supporting games, and I'm a gamer, right? So I want that uh, exclusive skin and all of that stuff. Plus, it gives you all uh, the characters in the game. Um, you can also unlock the characters by having experience. So, like, just playing the game, you'll be able to unlock the characters. It's not like a pay-to-win game, right? But, uh, like I said, I just like supporting the game. So, that's personally why I have uh, the Founders Edition. But, yeah, as you can see, Dallas, he's one of my uh, favorite characters right now. I've also played with a few other characters. Uh, higher S tier characters such as like glitch. I really enjoyed his uh, gameplay And yeah, man, it's just real smooth real fun right now for me Everybody's just getting dropped. Yo <laughs> This AK is hidden chat Oh Man, they're getting smoked, bro One of the main things I like about this is that this game is gonna be cross play So that's gonna allow me to play with a lot of the community like no matter what platform you're on And right here, it feels real smooth, like the encounters with each other, you know? I think that's what like really sold me on the game so far. And my man has like wall hacks, bro. <laughs> I kill the dude that I wall hacked and I get it right back. So it's like pretty nasty. That's kind of why I go for him first. Disgusting. I'm loving the rolling. It's really fun, no lie. I've been enjoying learning the characters. There's so many different characters and they all have different abilities. But right here, I have a C4 pack that I'm about to destroy these dudes with. My other ability was like a pulse. So anybody around the area, I'll see them on the mini map. So right here, I'm going to throw this and push right here. That way he goes towards my explosive, blow it up, drop one. And then this guy's an easy kill with the SMG up close. Disgusting. This is another one of my characters that I've been enjoying lately, and this guy can hack any enemy equipment. So right here, I'm gonna hack their barbed wire and trip mine, and then boom, they're like <laughs> getting wrecked from the back. They don't even know what's happening. And easy flank for like less than 30 bullets. But yeah, I, I got the Rogue Company Ultimate Edition Founders Pack. Um, I just wanted to support the game. They have like no connection with me. I have no connection with them, but uh, it's just a pretty cool game so far, man. So I got Glitch. I got a few other items, some rogue bucks, some skins, some characters, and you know, I'm pretty excited. Some uh, future characters that aren't released yet. And yeah, we're gonna be live later on Twitch playing. I'll show you some of the characters just so you know more or less like the skills and the abilities. I also got like any rogue that I didn't have, you know, any rogue that was locked and you could get those by earning like rep and you don't even have to buy any of them personally, but I bought them. And I'm going to be testing them on stream later, like I said. All right, family, right here, I'm going to go over the rogues for you one time. So let's start from the top with Anvil. And right here we have, my man has a barricade and immunity, okay? So he gains immunity to EMP, disorientate, slow, and blind effects. He has a shotgun and a crazy LMG, I believe. I haven't really used them too much, but as you can see, this is all the gear he has. C4, trophy system, and uh, this insane light machine gun so it is a light machine gun and on tier three you have uh insane handling and it's pretty dope man you get some range on tier uh, two 
and then uh his perks right so you deal more damage to equipment and carry more ammunition so all characters have different uh perks and right here you have gain ability to reload while sprinting this is one of my favorites revive teammates faster take reduced damage from explosives gain additional 25 armor so everybody spawns with 100 health and if you get the armor you get 125 health right so right here we get a uh, downing uh, enemy heals for a significant amount over a short duration so this is the whole kit that this character comes with this bat and most of these uh mostly all melees are throwable so you can upgrade them to increase the speed at which they're thrown and it's really cool man and then you could customize them too you can put the skins or whatever you have you know if you've uh supported the game or not and I'm sure they're going to be uh, allowing us to earn a lot of that in the future. So right here we have my man Lord Behemoth's favorite character. And this guy right here, he overheals himself for a duration and uh, revives himself when he's down. He can also roll while down and gains increased health when he goes down. So he uses a shotgun and an SMG. And I'll just show you uh, my man's loadout one time, just so you know. But yeah, right here, like I said, you can increase these to level 3. And when you go increasing these uh, items to different levels, they're going to stay at that different level. So for the remainder of the match, you're going to have whatever equipment, whatever weapons you've upgraded and they're going to stay upgraded. All right. So right here, I'll show you a few more perks. And this is on our second character, but he can deal more damage to equipment and carry more ammunition. He can become immune to being revealed. It's aim down sight, movement, speed penalty. So they're all different. And uh, some of them are similar. But they're mostly all different. So downing an enemy reloads your currently equipped weapon and restores ammunition. Making this guy really fun and really dope to play with. Dallas, one of my favorites. My man now uh, reveals the closest target or the closest enemy for a short duration. And this ability is recharged when you down the enemy. I love his uh, weapons of choice too. He has an AK and a devotion. And bro, they both absolutely rip, dudes. I'm not lying to you guys. So this is my favorite, gaining the ability to reload. So I buy whatever weapon I want after the, on the first round. I buy whatever weapon I want and I buy this. That way I could be moving and reloading at the same time. And it, it really works for me. And then usually the, on the next round, I'll just fully upgrade my weapon. If not, I'll upgrade it once and I'll choose a perk like uh, reduce my health regeneration delay or gain that extra armor. So the choice is all yours. Dima is really dope too. My man uh, has an insane cluster grenade launcher. So if the group is like packed up in an area, you could just devastate them with that uh, grenade launcher. So enemies you down are revealed to your team for a short duration. He has the AK and a sidearm or uh, SMG. So really powerful dude. I'm not going to show you all the perks. I'm going to let you like kind of check that out. But I'm just going to show you the passive talents. And maybe you might like think, oh, I like that character. And you want to play with that character in the future, right? So this guy activates a device that can detect nearby enemy signals and infiltrate their systems. And this uh, passive is even through walls, he can see this equipment, okay? So he has a shotgun and I use the SMG. It's really, really nasty in my opinion. Right here we have Lancer. She gains increased movement speed, quieter movement and immunity to reveals for a short duration or until you fire a weapon. So activating the dodge roll reloads your current weapon. And that can be really, really powerful, okay? So she has a striker. And this is going to be an automatic shotgun. And I'm definitely going to be using the SMG. I love those SMGs and ARs. Right here, we have the sniper. She is disgusting. One-shot killer. Beautiful, beautiful character. You can equip a smoke grenade that reveals enemies in the area. And damaging an enemy delays their health regeneration. So really strong character. Ronin, this is one of the best characters in the game. S tier. S plus, actually. And uh, equip an explosive throwing knife that attaches to surfaces and detonates when enemies are near it. So uh, hitting on the enemy's minimap. Right here we have an AK and an SMG. Looks like an MP7. Right here we have the healer of the game. So you can send out a drone to pick up down enemies anywhere on the map. And then uh, reviving a teammate heals both of you for a significant amount. Right here we have an AR and a Mamba. I actually don't think I like that AR. I don't know if it's the scope one, but I picked up somebody's AR once I killed them and it had a scope and it was like hideous. So I don't want to use that one personally. Maybe it's a beast, but it's just not for me. Uh, for a period of time, your firearms and melee attacks set enemies on fire, dealing damage over time and you're immune to fire. So 
Little Mama Scorch is where it's at, it seems. SMG and a shotgun, if I'm not mistaken. Right here, we have Talon. This is one of my favorite characters right here. This is a Japanese dude, and he has a radar dart that he can throw. And from my understanding, I can pick it up. If you look at mag gloves, pick up and reclaim items from range. But I never really uh, picked up the dart yet. I'm pretty sure you probably could, but it attaches to surfaces and detects nearby enemies on your radar. I use the SMG on this dude, and it actually rips. Rips, 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 rips. I don't know about the marksman yet. It probably is good, though. All right, right here we have create a field of barbed wire. This barbed wire is so cool, too, man. It, it literally almost immobilizes the dudes that are stepping in it because they can't roll. They can't do almost anything. They can jump, but, like, it's super limited. And uh, he can carry additional gadgets. And I love using his AK, personally. And right here we have uh, V. And her Vow Poison, create a cluster of poison pools that reduce enemy maximum health. Reducing the maximum health of enemies gradually increases your maximum health up to a cap of 25. So, 125 health with this baby if you get somebody with that poison. Look at the poison running through her arms. And she has a nice shade, as you can see, which is a assault rifle and a semi-auto shotgun. But yeah, I hope you... Uh, I hope you enjoyed me kind of going through the characters for you, giving you my perspective and what I think of the game so far. If you enjoy the game and want to get it, you can uh, watch streams. Like I said, make sure they have the drops enabled. It has to be like a light blue drops enabled under the title, not the title. A lot of people seem to be putting drops, but I personally don't think you're getting drops from those channels personally, but I could be wrong. And then uh, you could also purchase this for the closed beta for $15. Depending on how you feel, you can get the $30 version or you can go with the ultimate version like I did, which is $50 to $60. But the choice is all yours. Like I said, I like supporting games. And that was my choice this week, man. I don't really uh, spend too much bread on anything else. So thank you guys for watching. I'll be live later over on Twitch. Hopefully you could join up and play with us. It is cross play. So if you got a beta key, you can get in there with us. Salute and stay blessed, baby. Let's get it.